Hey, good morning. This is Jeremy with Village Redevelopment. Wanted to um, kind of talk through what we're looking to do next uh, for our next project and community acquisition. Uh, we're pursuing buying, uh, call it at least three to five acres, and doing uh, what's commonly referred to as a land hack uh, to create an adventure ranch of my own design. Uh, it basically allows you to buy land and create a variety of uses on it, if zoned for that, um, to, at the end of the day, give you, you and your friends a, a free or cash flowing house uh, as a friends and family house that you can use as a, a vacation house or a second house in a location that you, you would actually like to live, or at least that's the way that I use it. Um, so we're looking at basically three to five acre plots of land uh, in various towns like Bass Lake, uh, the Carolinas, and Vermont, um, where um, we know that uh, maybe it has one house on it to start with, which is probably the easiest way to do it because then you can use a traditional loan to buy it, whether that be a 3% down FHA or a second home loan, um, and then add additional units over time. Uh, most of the places that we're looking, if it's over an acre, you can add at least two additional housing units, um, whether that's temporary or permanent. Um, generally it's permanent, but um, temporary can be done too, depending on what zoning allows for. Uh, but in this example, we're looking to build or buy, buy something with a house, renovate it, uh, and make it nice again, and then maybe add a-frame cabins with container outbuildings that would be really cool and modern. Um, maybe some Airstream trailers if that's allowed uh, or um, some geodome or yurt style tents or just traditional houses, it depends. Or you can, in some cases, depending on if it's unincorporated and there's some gray area or flexibility to where you're buying and building, um, there's not as much oversight or you might need a conditional use permit. But in a lot of cases, I feel like you can build a couple of additional houses over time um, and then maybe even add in some temporary or, or short-term stays like, like the geodomes or the uh, Airstream trailers. Or uh, we've been looking at some kit A-frame homes that are like 50 to 60 grand that can be set up in a week or two. Um, so that's pretty exciting and they're pretty rad. But basically with the intent of creating a, a cash flowing house that we can use with our friends and family in a location that we want. And then maybe, you know, add some additional housing back for local folks that can be affordable um, by ha injecting it with some of these nightly stays that will up the overall cash flow and allow us to rent the additional houses um, for an affordable price. Uh, or we may bring it in modularly, but uh, you know, um, generally, uh, the stuff that we're looking at, most anything over an acre can be, you can put at least two additional houses on it. Um, probably going to do a mix of short-term rentals and long-term rentals. Again, the short-term rentals will boost the cash flow on the overall property so that we can rent the long-term rentals at a more affordable price for local people that need it and still make money at it. Um, and then maybe other income sources are just things that I want to include uh, would be... <laughs> <laughs> probably a mountain bike or e-mountain bike uh, skills park or a Suron electric dirt bike uh, track through the complex. Um, you know, maybe a venue like a wedding venue or if it lends itself to how we build the houses, you can rent it out as a, a complete package for a weekend to people that are getting married or having a conference. Uh, I guess you could offer tours or there's some ways that you can plug into tour companies that will do mountain bike trips or hiking trips and then with the ultimate goal of having a free or cash flowing second home. And then again, um, depending on how it lends itself, we always want to try and do uh, clean energy so that we can power the community with solar or alternative energy as much as possible and then trying to create cool social and sports oriented spaces, you know, with jacuzzis or maybe container pools, um, you know, just to make it fun and interactive and, you know, entice people to get together and hang out and have a good time and share their experiences. But uh, that's kind of my idea. Um, 
you know, the properties we're looking at are probably in the three to four hundred thousand dollar range. Maybe the house needs a little bit of work, but it has acreage to accommodate at least two more. And then maybe we can slip in, you know, a, a geodome or a airstream to just boost the overall cash flow and make it kind of fun. Uh, and have more people on the property actually using it and using the loaner bikes and surrounds that we're having. Um, so uh, we have a couple of partners on the, our subsequent projects, but if this is something that you like, we're always open to meeting with like-minded people and uh, discussing uh, future projects and growth. We really would like to do stuff in Mammoth and Truckee, but they're just a little bit more expensive. So we're looking at some lower cost basis markets, but I'd really like to go uh, to those towns and build, you know, f call it four to 10 unit uh, apartment building properties with a lot of these attributes plugged into them and uh, provide affordable housing for local people and, you know, have a space for our, our friends and family to go and hang out that's uh, cheap or free or paid for. So um, if you like some of those ideas, I'm always happy to talk. Uh, my phone number is 619-885-8188, or you can reach me at jeremy at villageredevelopment.com. Hope you guys are having an awesome day, and uh, feel free to hit me up with any questions.